Hello, my name is Jeff, and welcome to my channel, Birch Singer of Independence. Hello, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, hello, and welcome back. And today, we are going to put to the test this DeWalt Impact Wrench. Now, we're working on the Kia Optima, so I'm not going to need a whole lot of power to pull this off. So what I did is I put this to the lowest setting. I'm kind of curious on what this thing can do. And I, I just bought it. Uh, according to the reviews, it was really good. So we're going to try this out and see how good it really is. So... We're gonna pull this tire off and we're gonna check these brakes out on this Kia Optima. The lowest setting. Holy mackerel. Oh wow, that went super, super easy. That went super, super easy. Yeah, because DeWalt says that to set this on. Okay, so DeWalt says the lowest setting is the smallest bubble. I think I've done that. You know, the little arrow is pointing toward the smallest bubble, so we're using the lowest setting. Yeah, that went off super, super easy. So either A, these things have been torqued down like they're supposed to have been. Oh, I hate that. All right, so now that's when you gotta get a bigger. All right, so I got all of her fluids checked. Her tires are all right up where they're supposed to be. She had a couple that are pretty low, I'll let her know. There was two pads that were in good shape yet. We're gonna take those pads home in the trunk she's got for some other time, just in case something happens. But getting back to this, okay? This thing is awesome, don't get me wrong. I've had this a lot of years. I wanted something different. This is a Snap-on Blue Point. I've had this for a lot of years. So it's done me a lot of good. This adjuster down here has gone bad on me. Uh, I'm sure it could be fixed. But I bought this. Again, on the lowest setting, 90 foot pounds of torque, pop, pop, off. I mean, seriously, it was nothing to it. I mean, tap, tap, it was coming right off. And that was at the lowest setting. That's if the previous person did torque the lug nuts down to 90 PSI, like, or 90 foot pounds like they were supposed to. I don't know. But the DeWalt did amazing. It was off. The Blue Point's awesome, don't get me wrong. It's old. I'm not throwing it away, though. I've had it a long time. It's good for some light duty stuff, but if I need something with a little more oomph to it, I'm gonna be pulling out this DeWalt. Like I said, it did a really nice job. Like I said, it's got the reversible switch right here, right by my thumb, if you're left hand or right hand, because it's on both sides. All right, it's got the simple turn right here. You got three options, that's like it. For this thing here, you had 10 options right here. And then of course, you know, your, your forward and backward, you just, you just flip this from one side to the other. That's all it was. So, I mean, it was easy to use, don't get me wrong, and I liked it. I used it for a lot of years, but it started to fail on me. I am super glad I've upgraded to the DeWalt. So, I give this a big thumbs up. It was very impressive. And if you guys like watching these channels, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share it. Share it with some of your other friends who are asking about, oh, what should I get? This thing here was awesome. For a half-inch drive, this was pretty awesome. I, I was very impressed with it. And I'm putting it up against the Snap-on Blue Point. This thing in its prime was really good. But we're also talking, its prime was like 12 years ago when I bought this. This is a 2020 model. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So, again, thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.